Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo, Senior Market Strategist with RJO Futures here in Chicago, bringing you some commentary here on April 7th here in the energy market. So let's get started here. What do we have going on here today? Well, crude prices have basically taken a little bit of weaker tone here on the overnight. So far, most of the action this morning, it's been a little bit weaker. The June oil is currently trading at about $100.20 a barrel. It's off about $0.26. Cents. We did dip below $100. We've kind of been just kind of back and forth there. Uh, we've gone down to as low as is uh, about 99.59 uh, area and again currently trading a little bit above that. Brent uh, a little bit weaker than that. Uh, the Brent's around 106.01 that's off about 62 cents so again you know I've talked about it here that spread uh, continuing uh, to narrow there. i uh, got some ideas if you're interested in learning how to play that. We had gas buck in the trend we're up about six to seven cents there so a positive uh, tone there and the complex is weaker. Our Bob's off almost three quarters of a cent. Uh, heat's off about a full penny right now so in general a little bit of a weaker tone. You know, taking a look at the, the fundamentals here in the market, you know, right now we do have a weaker uh, the stock market here, the S&P 500, take a look at that. It's weaker on Friday. We're getting follow through with it here today. Weaker tone there. Global equity markets are mostly weaker. So we're seeing a little bit of a drag there. Uh, we also got some commentary out uh, that the World Bank uh, actually have lowered its uh, uh, outlook growth uh, for China. So certainly I think that's helping keep a little bit of pressure on the market. Also Libya, there's reports out that Libya have had some problems over there, but recently here uh, it's reported that they've reopened two of their ports. So expected to put some additional uh, uh, oil out there into the world market. So, you know, as far as the news mostly goes here, starting off the week here, it appears mostly a little bit of a bearish uh, tint to it, although uh, we're really not seeing crude sell off too much here just yet. Uh, you know, one of the things that I think what you're going to see happen in here on Thursday and Friday, we kind of saw the market uh, uh, jump back up here a little bit. Today we've got that weaker tone. So we're seeing a lower low and a lower high so far here today. And what is important to me uh, today, traders, is to watch and see if we get a close below $100 a barrel. And I think if we see that close below $100 a barrel, in my opinion, I think oil prices will probably dip a little bit down. When you take a look at the chart, what's interesting here for June oil is uh, if you apply the 50-day moving average to it, you can kind of watch and you see how the moving averages kind of come up. And we've been seeing oil kind of when it's made its pullbacks, it's been kind of bouncing off that 50-day moving average. So I think that's kind of interesting to watch. And if we do see a close then, below that 50-day moving average, I'm actually targeting, I think the market has the potential to pull back down to around about 96.60 a barrel. That's the 200-day moving average. And you know, when you look at you know, the, the grand scheme of things, when you look at oil there, again, in my opinion, I think, and I've mentioned this in so many posts, I think we've got ample oil out there. Last week, yes, we did see a draw on stockpiles. But, you know, for, for 10 consecutive weeks prior to that, we've been seeing builds, and I think we've got a lot of oil out there. Uh, other thing I think important to note is that, you know, last COT report we took a look at is showing that, you know, most of the, uh, uh, you know, action here, um, when we've seen some heavy uh, trading here, heavy uh, trading days, uh, has been on the downside. So, you know, they're kind of, you know, speculators, I think, are being blamed a little bit for helping keep oil prices supportive here a little bit. But when we have seen some pullbacks there, the trading volume has been a little bit uh, a little bit larger there. So that might be a tell as to uh, what we might see coming if we should happen to start getting a little bit of failure in that market uh, and get a little bit of long liquidation going on here. The market could come under pressure here rather quickly. So got some ideas and strategies on how you can position yourself. Give me a call and shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.